Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, Thursday, July 18, 2024, pre-market report. Let me just say this. My level of disgust just took a, another leg higher here, and we're going to talk about We have so much to cover here. Let's start off with the economic news we just got. So uh, to nobody's surprise, at least those of you that follow this blog, um, Jobless claims, first time jobless claims came in worse than expected. This economy is coming apart. Uh, and of course, the 1 and 2 percenters are smiling their way to the bank. And that phenomenon is about to get much more dramatic moving forward. It's a circus show, it's a freak show that is being set up on an unprecedented scale. And as I said, stick around because we have a lot to talk about. Now, on the back of that, Let's just talk about the market. 10-year yield dropping, enormous amounts of asset purchases by the Federal Reserve, uh, doing everything they can right now to keep bond yields suppressed. The dollar on a relative strength basis, again, dropping the Dixie well below or solidly below 104 now. And if you think this is going to stop anytime soon, you are seriously uh, diluted on, on a grand scale. Now, with regard to this market, we watched the Dow hit a new record high yesterday. We watched the NASDAQ take a hit. And I'm going to tell you right here and right now, and I'm going to cover this in more detail in a moment. There is opportunity here. From You're all lions now. Opportunity is in tech like you can't believe. Commodities like you can't believe. And yes, people, cryptocurrencies, and we need to cover that as well. So look, everything that you and I have been talking about, every freaking thing is, is happening. And again, you're about to have your mind blown as to what is coming here down the pike. It's already starting. Extreme lies, more deceptions like you can't even believe. And we have so much to talk about here. Look, I believe something else is going on. I want to share this with you right off the bat. You know, for those of you out here that, uh, look, you take this however you want to. I believe that Biden is has been told to bow out. That's my take on it. This whole thing is a setup and nothing is what it seems to be. Now, I know this is going to make a lot of you happy. But... And, and, I wouldn't blame you for that, uh, but but what's being set up here is something much, much more dark. Let me just say that here. But on the back of that, we're about to see things unfold in, in a dramatic, dramatic way moving forward. So this morning, I mean, this, this was kind of uh, breaking yesterday in, on a grand scale. Uh, and I, I I had to wake up to this face this morning. You know who that is? That's Jamie Dimon. Um, and this is this. It, it's everywhere right now uh, across the mainstream media. There's there. It, it's I don't know. It's being shoved down our throat here. This is the uh, a headline from this morning here. Uh, Trump has a Treasury Secretary in mind. It's a nightmare. I have to agree with this. If this guy is chosen by the illustrious Trump to be U.S. Treasury Secretary, uh, make your plans to leave the country. Let us move forward here. Here's another headline. This is uh, what is this Fox Business here. Trump could pick Jamie Dimon. Let us move forward here. Trump floats J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Diamond as Treasury Secretary. Uh, where is this one from? Uh, oh, there's another headline for you. That beautiful face. Don't you love it? Um, look, keep these things in mind because I want to show you something else just, just real quick. So this is Barron's who did an interesting story here. And now look this up for yourself, okay? I, I believe, as I've been telling you, that the position of a VP is an impotent position, but uh, this guy has millions of dollars in investments in cryptocurrencies, oil, and tech. Very smart guy. Obviously, he knows where this is going to go. Now, this is really interesting here. He made a comment. Are you ready for this? Tell me if you think this is truth or deception. Vance, we're done, ladies and gentlemen, talking to you. Uh, Catering to Wall Street, we commit 
to the working man. Do you think that this guy's on your side uh, if he makes it? Looks like he's going to. Do you think a guy who's got millions invested in cryptocurrency, oil, and tech really has the working man or woman in mind? This is a deception. When you hear, this is another thing. Okay, I'm telling you right now. You have you believe this guy and this guy, both of these guys, have your best interest in mind, understanding where this looks like it's going here, then again, you're completely lost. Um, and this statement just makes me want to honestly throw up. We're done, ladies and gentlemen, catering to Wall Street. And, and let me talk about this. The other guy who... Uh, this other dude here, uh, George Soros' protege, Scott Bessent here, multi-billionaire, uh, who's also in the running for Treasury Secretary, along with this guy here. Um, do you think this guy has your best interest in mind here? Look, listen to this lie. It's absurd to think that Trump's policies are going to be inflationary. First of all, let me explain this to you. Uh, it has nothing to do with whatever freak... They're going to put behind the resolute desk. The Fed is going to finish their job. Now, let's talk more about that. This is very upsetting to me, too. And this is misleading on a grand scale. Trump warns Fed against pre-election rate cut. Do you... This headline is not what it's meant to look like, okay? Trump has already made it crystal clear what he wants the Fed to do. And that is keep rates suppressed. The truth is, because the reason why Trump is saying here that uh, he's warning against a pre-election rate cut because he wants these cuts very deep. Trump is going to have the Fed keep rates suppressed on a scale that you, we've never seen before in history. The man during his last tenure, people, don't take my word for this. Look it up for yourself, okay? Wanted negative rates. Negative rates. That means you would have to pay the bank to keep your cash in there. And he also wanted a weaker dollar. And he keeps saying the same thing now. <laughs> That's why would you, would you imagine why he would choose this kind of a thing as the U.S. Treasury Secretary. People, come on. Wake up, man. And, you know, I, I, the grandest deception that's... Look, we've already... This guy has revealed himself to us. This Vance creature, okay? Holding millions in crypto, commodities in tech. Smart places to be? I will take my hat off to him because he knows exactly what's going to happen, as do you and I. But for him, it, thing, creature... To come out and say, we're done, ladies and gentlemen, catering to Wall Street and we commit to the working man. You also, you do understand that when you hear a comment like that, the polar opposite is true. When you hear a comment about how inflation is not going to surge higher by George Soros' protege, possibly next Treasury Secretary, you know the polar opposite is going to happen. Now, here's another thing here by our, our illustrious vomitous puke soon to be VP here blaming US wage losses on China's effort to build this middle class no finger pointing at the Federal Reserve meanwhile how is he explaining how the UK and the rest of the world is in the same boat is it also the fault of China you can't make it up so you already understand the economic free fall is going to accelerate moving forward this is a no brainer Okay, and we're being set up with the diamonds, with the freaking thing, creature here, Vance as well. And they're going to blame China and they're going to blame Biden and everybody else here. This is the fault of the Federal Reserve who's going to continue to inflate on a scale you can't believe. Because they're destroying the economy by design. And I've been telling you, they need an ally and they need allies in the Fed to run this nation. Here's two for you right here. Uh, and there's our, our, our VP here. There's an ally for you as well. And you're being lied to on an epic scale. 
uh, you can be, you can rest assured that you're about to see a nightmare scenario unfold on a scale that's going to blow everybody's freaking mind. Now, let me tell you something else here, okay? Everyone keeps talking about this. Rotation into small caps. Rotation, I've already covered this, people. Look, I already told you I'm not answering any questions about this, okay? You're already in the right spots if you've been following this blog, okay? You want to rotate into small caps and, and jump on the bandwagon? Good for you. Good for you. Then you're going to have to choose when you're going to rotate out. I'm, I've already... Look, my job here is to make this simple. You want to complicate it? Go ahead here. So here's, a, here's a, signs of market rotation into small cap so as tech leaders lose ground. Let me explain this to you. We're about to see a phenomenon get even much more dramatic. What am I talking about? Bond yields dropping, okay? The selection has been made, Trump is in, no doubt about it, along with this lying creature thing, who I'm, I'm learning to really not like here, okay? This statement solidified it for me. Let me ask you again, do you believe that this is true? That this guy, along with this guy here, or the other guy, Scott Bessing, a Soros freaking uh, protege here, multi-billionaire hedge fund manager, they got your best interest in mind, and this guy's coming here to tell you that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done catering to Wall Street. This tells you he's a liar and a deceiver, and you tell me where that comes from. People, I am just so disgusted. I really, really am. But look, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you why it doesn't matter. Because you and I, we're going to rip the face off this thing more so than before, ever before. Because they're laying out what's going to happen here. The lies, the deceptions, the look here. You think that's going to change? Because Trump is going to be president. It's going to get much, much worse. Much, much worse. Just count on that. And the distortions in the market. We're, what we're about to see with regard to the stock market... You have no idea. Currency devaluation, I've been telling you this for how long? Massive asset purchases by the Fed. Distractions about how it's China's fault or it's Biden's fault. Whoever's fault it is, and with no finger pointing at all at our real enemy. And we know who that is, the Federal Reserve. Unbelievable, man. People are being, I already I said, people are being set up for a great fall. And that's exactly what's happening here, people. If you don't see this right now, I don't know what to tell you. You're completely lost and beyond lost. Now, look, uh, if in fact we do get Jamie Dimon or this other guy here, but I say Jamie Dimon is, uh, would be the absolute worst uh, in my view. And I, do you like Jamie Dimon? Do you want to see Jamie Dimon as a Treasury Secretary? Do you believe that this guy... Uh, who has some, a pretty shady past uh, on multiple levels. You think he's the right guy for U.S. Treasury Secretary here? You th oh, you think we're being tag-teamed on a grand scale um, and set up here? Look at the blame game. It's already started, as you and I thought said it would. We're about to see the United States fail faster. So just get, get hit to it. But again... What does that mean for you and me? We're already in the right spots. We're already in the right spots. You're going to stay along this market. You're going to buy tech stocks? Again, look, do you think that Trump is going to let his right-hand man's investments evaporate? Or do you think you're going to see cryptocurrency skyrocket? You're going to see commodities, including crude oil, skyrocketing. Your cost of living go way, way higher. And tech? Tech? You're looking at a deceiver. Absolutely, but you're looking at a smart guy, a guy who knows where we're going here. Why do you think he was chosen? Because he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, man, people, I tell you. So just prepare. Be ready to have your mind blown. You're worried about Armageddon here? Yeah, I think you're in the right, right spots there, too, because all this is going to do is usher in the end of the grand finale here, uh, much faster, much, much faster. So just be ready for it, okay? Um, anyway, look, if this upsets you, if you don't like what I'm saying, you are free to unsubscribe right here and right now. I'm here to tell you the truth. And if the truth is <laughs> something that you don't like to hear, then I, you don't belong here. All right, like I always say, this is a channel for lions. This is a, ch a channel for winners. And we're going to win here. We're going to do exactly what Vance is doing here. 
We're going to get into the crypto space more so. We're going to buy commodities across the board. We're buying tech. Every drop in this market, forget about just tech. We're buying it all, just like they are, okay? The diamonds here, the so-called anti-crypto. You see this guy here? He owns more cryptocurrency than every single one of us. Bitcoin especially, in case you don't know. When a freak like this tells you how much they hate a certain asset class, you're never going to hear a banker, especially a guy like this, <laughs> the, 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 the this guy runs the largest Wall Street bank by assets on the earth, okay? If you don't think that this guy has a store of Bitcoin and probably a whole bunch of other cryptocurrencies that you can't believe, even though he's telling you not to hold it, you're never going to hear a Wall Street super bank CEO tell you that you should be in anything else but the dollar. You know that, right? <laughs> They make this too easy for us. You see, they think we're stupid. They think we're idiots and they think we're imbeciles. But I'm going to tell you something. You and I, we're the smartest people in the room. And that's a fact. Anyway, people, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And um, I want to hear from you. Did I, did I nail it to the wall? Or, or no. Greg, Greg doesn't understand the plan yet. The, the plan. The plan. Oh, I love the plan. Mental midgets on an epic scale. If you can't see the real plan, you've been duped. This guy here loves you a lot from the heart, people. I'll see you later, okay? And please comment. Share the video. You got something out of it? Let me know what you think. And if you don't think you belong here, leave and find another place to go. And uh, you'll be a lot better off, too, at least in your own mind. All right, I'll see you later. Again, as I said, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern people. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other.